Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Grand Wagoneer Obsidian, aka the Grand Wagoneer to buy. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out thank you to the Doug Smith Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler here in American Fork, Utah, for giving me some time with this Grand Wagoneer. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then, on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a turbocharged 3 liter inline 6 that goes through an 8 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 510 horsepower and then 500 pound feet of torque, with fuel economy being 14 around town and then 20 on the highway. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see how you've got kind of like those lower sections on either side. I think that looks pretty sharp. And then a Wagoneer across the front. And then you can see how the headlight bezel and everything's been all blacked out. Same thing with the fog lights down below and then just everything else. And so with that blacked out appearance, I think this looks really sharp. And then around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 285, 45, 22 in the front and over in the rear. You can see here with the wheels completely blacked out. You do have the gray elements too, I guess. And then we've got these painted fender flares. You can see Grand Wagoneer on the side. And then just notice everything else, again, blacked out obsidian, right? So here is your full side view with the Grand Wagoneer. And then taking a look at the key fob, we have our lock and unlock function, remote start. We've got the suspension lowering and then this is to open up the hatch and then Grand Wagoneer on the back. Now this has the standard cargo area, so this is not an L, um, but yeah, I mean, still decent amount of storage space to the third row. Notice you can fold down the second row, you can raise and lower the third row automatically. Got a 12 volt here in the back, and then when you're all done, just press that and that will lower the hatch right back down. And then take a look at the taillight design, really cool. See Grand Wagoneer here on the back. And then we do have parking sensors as well as a bezel that covers the receiver hitch. And so putting it all together, let me know what you guys think about the Obsidian package, but I think this is the way to go with the Grand Wagoneer when it comes to exterior styling. Now take a look at the door panel in the back. You can see soft touch here at the top, and then notice the sunshade. And look at the trim down below. And then really nice stitching throughout. Speaker for the Macintosh sound system. And then taking a look at the seats. Really nice leather trim. Now we do have power side steps, which help out with getting in and out. A uh, legroom here in the second row is great. We've got a little storage pocket. We've got our own TVs here in the back. We also have heated and ventilated seats for the second row. We have our own climate zone. And so charging ports and everything there. And then this is a whole center console. Tons of storage. Nice trim here on the top. You've got like a little window there as well. And then with the back seats, you can see a nice leather trim. And they've got this little armrest there with some USBs and everything. Uh, you can comfortably fit adults back there. And they get their own sunroof. It's fancy. Now take a look at the front door panel again. You can see really nice trim all throughout. All of our window controls, got your mirror adjustments, and then you got your adjustments for the seat. Uh, you do have massaging seats as well. Blind spot mirroring with the mirrors. And if you're wondering on payload, it is 1457. Really cool seat here. Series two there, because it's a series two. I can see been perforated. And I love the feel of these seats. The the leather trim just yeah, it's got a very nice feel to it. Grand Wagoneer there on the side, and then you can see your light controls here, steering wheel's power adjustable. You got your pedal adjustments too, and then nice trim all across the dash. And then taking a look at the steering wheel itself, uh, nice trim all around. You get your gear limiter there, and then I like that at the bottom, it's pretty cool. Got adaptive cruise control controls for the rest of the center stack, and then uh, radio controls in the back, and then also your stocks. Full digital gauge cluster, which we can use to scroll through and change from digital to analog, which is kind of cool. But you can see different bits of information on the Grand Wagoneer. And then we also have a heads up display. I don't think it's going to show on the camera. Wah. 360 camera system, which we can use to see out of different angles here with the Grand Wagoneer. And then that's the rest of the infotainment system. Response time is decent. It does take a second for some of the pages to load up. I mean, look at that. There we go. Heated and cooled seats up front, and you got little shortcuts there. Analog controls for the radio, which is nice. Dual zone climate controls. And then we have our secondary screen for like the seats. Notice we got the massage function, which we can turn on if we want. Um, but the cool thing about this screen here is we can press this button and that'll make it disappear. And then you have your charging area below that. So like literally a million USBs, literally a million USBs. 
And then uh, a bunch of analog controls there in front for like parking assist, for example. You got a passenger screen there as well. Kind of interesting. It's this Grand Wagoneer there too. And then we have all of our drive modes with this little toggle switch. Shifter here for the eight speed, your four wheel drive low. And then you can see here with the true neutral offered to cruise control, that's for the suspension to raise and lower it. And then a yeah, nice trim there. And then with the front center console, it's just like the back one. And it is a refrigerator too, which is cool. And then we do have the gold box, which is pretty big there. Uh, camera rear view mirror. And then we've got the panoramic center and then nice premium headliner. Don't know if that's gonna pop up on camera very well, but yeah. Now here's our window sticker for this Grand Wagoneer. Um, Obsidian, again, it's the series two and the Obsidian package, what, 5,400 bucks it looks like. Total MSRP, 109,730. And it's kind of big. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood and helping see the heads up display. Both the mirrors do a blast firing. Do it the rest of the rear. And Grand Wagoneer away. So I wanted to do a review on the Obsidian package because it's the coolest package. That's it. <laughs> it's just the best looking Grand Wagoneer. I mean, it, it just, the, the blacked out thing looks really good. And then, um, you know, the Series 2 is not the loaded up you know grand wagoneer technically right series three is the fully loaded but still series two is a very nice vehicle it's very premium actually setting off here in the grand wagoneer Oops, suspension's comfortable with a little bump it's got good torque very smooth the inline six is very smooth doesn't have the same rambunctious nature as the 6.4 Hemi that this had for the first year, but still a solid powertrain. It'll be interesting to see, like, with these uh, Grand Wagoneers down the road, if those 6.4 Hemis have, um, like, a huge price premium on them uh, compared to these inline sixes, because they're going to make way more of these inline six Grand Wagoneers than they ever made with the 6.4 Hemi. And the same thing with the 5.7 Hemi uh, regular Wagoneer. Oh, it'll be interesting to see. Turn on the massage function. Ah, nice kind of crisscrosses and everything. But yeah, it's, it's, the seats are comfortable. And I think they did a really good job with the build quality here in this Grand Wagoneer. Everything feels very tight fit and finish wise, but it also has like a sturdy feel. Kind of reminds me of a G-Wagon in a way. It's very interesting. Good torque out of the powertrain gonna kind of let this chick-fil-a truck get ahead a little bit and then we're gonna punch it -hoo -hoo. man this thing pulls like a freight train it's quick and again turbocharged power you can't go wrong with that at high elevation always makes a big difference it's impressive it's quite impressive Smooth on the highway. We're in aero mode. It's a nice ride. So, some of the things up here with the Wagoneer, but more Grand and Obsidian. I think if you're gonna get a Grand Wagoneer, this is the one to get, is the Obsidian, because it just looks so much better. It looks so much better than the regular Wagoneer just kind of, I don't know, looks bland if you ask me. But this being all blacked out is so cool. It's kind of got like that Batmobile type vibe. And if you do, um, they make paint protection film that gives a satin finish. You guys see my vehicles. I do that in my cars all the time. That on this would look so good. Satin black would look so, so cool. So we'll get one more acceleration then we'll fully cap it off. Wait for it, wait for it. Let her rip. Yeah, such a good powertrain. I'm excited to see this in the new Ram 1500 in terms of how it performs, but let me know what you guys think about the Grand Wagoneer Obsidian.